I'm not the R word, I'm Karen. Karen's not the R word, she's funny. I'm not the R word, I'm Juvie. Juvie's not the R word, she's... Oh la la. I'm not the R word, my name is Ernie. Ernie's not the R word, he's cool. I'm not the R word, I'm Tom. Tom's not the R word, he's hard working. Hi, my name is Mary, I'm not saying no R. Mary's not the R word, she's supporting. Nick is not the R word. Nick is thoughtful. I'm not the R word. Amanda's not the R word, she's stylish. I'm not the R word, I'm Zach. Zach isn't the R word, he's ticklish. <laughs> My name is Derek Rivera, I live in the A. I'm Steven in the A. They're not the R word, they're friends. <laughs> I don't like the R word because I think everyone has the right to feel comfortable in their own skin. And when someone is called the R word, it just reveals the outer layer of someone. And I think that uh, everyone has a deeper layer and that if you look deeper, then you'll find their true selves. What does the R word mean to you, Gil? Well, to me, the R word um, doesn't focus on all the really great things that a person has in them. Like, I, I've met so many great people here at Triangle who do so much despite their, uh, their insecurity. Who have, like, for instance, Tommy here who, has, who works two jobs and is so devoted to, a, to his work. And to me, the R word just doesn't focus on all those great things that a person can do. Why the people use the R word? I think people use the R word because they don't actually know what it means, like stupid or idiot. Um, they don't know what the, the true meaning is and where it came from. How do you feel when you hear the R word? Oh, it bothers me. It's where they approach, how they say it. I just want to like reach out to the people out in the, in the community, not, not to use that kind of like stuff and language and stuff. How you like the word R word? I think it's a negative label that um, people use. It's a minority slur in the way that no one really knows the meaning behind it, and people throw it around all the time without realizing the impact that it means to people with disabilities and even people without disabilities. It's very important that they realize how hurtful it can be and how damaging it can be. Any way you could stop this app thing? I think spread the word to end the word is a really important movement to help stop use of the R word. We can all get together and educate people and make them aware of how the R word can hurt people and their families. And the more work we do, the more work will be um, set forward to stop the use of the word. So I was born that way. When I, since I was, I was little, I was raised to m my mother's, I'm not going to go that far, but my mother raised me a lot to teach these kind of things. And I still want to have it happen to me again. But you're not the R word, David, right? Right. It's not nice to say the R word, and it's not nice to say it at all. I mentioned it again. That's how I stop this. In a notice to the title to that, let's stop it and put an end to the R word once and for all. I pledge not to use the R word because it's offensive. I pledge not to use the R word because it isn't truly representative of the person's nature. I'm Josh and I pledge not to use the R word because it's hurtful. I'm Eitan Dineragus and I pledge not to use the R word. I'm Claire and I pledge not to use the word retarded. I'm Atara McCoy and I pledge not to use the R word. I'm Missy Kintish and I pledge not to use the R word. I'm Yael and I pledge not to use the R word. Spread the word today!